stop listening to the clickbait. 0.1 Bitcoin is not enough to retire. I'm going to break it down for you in this video. And before I do that, I know in the comments, there's going to be people saying, oh, Mitchell, you're just not bullish enough. Well, I save in Bitcoin. I work in Bitcoin. I wrote a book about Bitcoin. I talk about Bitcoin every single day on the internet. I'm incredibly bullish Bitcoin. My entire life is long Bitcoin. I am literally as bullish on Bitcoin as anybody could get. But let's be honest and let's be realistic about how much Bitcoin can actually provide for you on a purchasing power basis. We're going to do that by looking at Bitcoin's total addressable market, which is all of the world's savings, all of our accumulated wealth, the entire global asset base of planet Earth. That's what Bitcoin's going for. How much of this can Bitcoin realistically capture? And if so, what would be the price of one Bitcoin? And thus, what would be the purchasing power of 0.1 Bitcoin? And would it be enough to retire? Let's look at it. Now, I've got the calculator pulled up and we're going to do some simple math. But before we do that, know that this 900 trillion figure right here, this is in $2,025. And the supply of fiat money is designed to increase forever. So we're going to think about things in terms of real dollars purchasing power, but no, the nominal figures are all going to rise. One day, the total global asset value will be one quadrillion. And then not too long after that, it'll be two quadrillion. And you can get into some pretty like absurdly sounding numbers for the Bitcoin price. But in that scenario, the price of all the goods and services you need to actually live and retire, food, shelter, gas, all of those prices are going to increase on a relatively proportional basis. So keep that in mind. We're looking at the total wealth pie and let's figure out how much Bitcoin could capture. So right now, Bitcoin has a $2 trillion market cap, which it's barely scratching the surface of this $900 trillion. We have a lot of upside potential left to go, which is why I'm hyper bullish Bitcoin. But let's do some simple math. I'm 25 years old and let's say I want to retire at 65. So over the next 40 years, could Bitcoin capture $100 trillion worth of value? I think so. That's, that's pretty realistic in my opinion. I don't think that's too extravagant of a claim. So let's do some simple math. $100 trillion. That's a lot of zeros. Divided by $21 million. You get $4,760,000. So that would be the price of one Bitcoin in this scenario where Bitcoin gets a $100 trillion market cap, you're looking at 4.7 million per Bitcoin. Well, what does that make 0.1 Bitcoin? $476,000. No, $476,000 is not enough to retire. Let's do the math there. 0.1, 476,000. The retirement rule of thumb is a 4% draw every year times 0.04. Yeah, I don't know about you, but if you live in the United States, you're not living off of $19,000 per year. I don't even know that that could last you a quarter or six months. So let's get a little more bullish, though, because I'm, I'll be honest, I'm more bullish than a $100 trillion market cap for Bitcoin. It's the only asset here on this sheet that you cannot create more of. No matter how much demand there is for Bitcoin, you cannot make more of it. If there's more demand for gold, we can dig more gold. There's more demand for fine art, we can create more fine art. There's more demand for businesses, equities, you can create more companies, you can build more buildings, you can create more fiat currency. So Bitcoin being the only asset on this, on this infographic in, in the world where you cannot increase its supply no matter how much demand there is, I think it could realistically capture half of this. So we're talking to $450 trillion market cap. But let's do the math. Let's see what that would equal out in terms of Bitcoin price. So 450,000 million billion trillion. So many zeros. Now we want to divide that by 21 million. We're looking at a Bitcoin price of, that's not too bad, 21,428,000 per Bitcoin. So coincidentally enough, 21 million Bitcoin, 21 million price per Bitcoin. That would be pretty cool. Granted, that's a pretty bold and outlandish claim to say that Bitcoin captures half of all the stuff, right? Just because the world may shift to a Bitcoin standard, that doesn't mean rich people aren't going to buy two houses. That doesn't mean companies won't exist. That doesn't mean gold won't have some value. And that doesn't mean that bonds won't exist. So 21 million 
per Bitcoin times 0.1, you'd be looking at a price of about $2 million for 0.1 Bitcoin. Now let's do the 4% rule. Yeah, you could probably live off of 85K a year, but then again, this is going to be taxed. So you're really looking at probably 60 to 65K. And I'll be honest, if you live in America, that is not enough to retire. And this is our most bullish of bullish scenarios for the Bitcoin price, capturing half of all of the world's wealth into Bitcoin. 0.1 is probably still not enough to retire. And I do think Bitcoin could capture half of the world's wealth, but I'll be honest, in my lifetime, I feel like that's a bit of a stretch. I'm 24 years old. I think anybody watching this video, you're probably at least 16 or 18 years old. So it won't happen in your lifetime either. So that leaves, you know, your grandparents your, or your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, people that don't even exist yet. Maybe they'll be able to retire on 0.1 Bitcoin, but none of us will be able to retire on 0.1 Bitcoin. And that shouldn't be, you know, a sad, a sad thing to hear for you, for people. This should be inspiring. You should want to go out and create value, provide value to the world, proof of work, and acquire as much Bitcoin as possible. The whole idea of retirement to me sounds a little slaving away for the first 65 years of your life so you can spend the last two decades or so doing nothing but consuming. Being a net consumer is not a satisfying way to go about life. Mindlessly dragging yourself through time just so you can reach this sort of utopian idea of, oh, I can do nothing but sit on the beach and drink margaritas all day is no way to go about life. And it's no way to pursue a career. So stop thinking about what's the bare minimum amount of Bitcoin you need to retire and start thinking about how you can provide value and stack as much sats as possible. One of the best ways to stack sats is by mining Bitcoin. And no, you don't need to plug a machine in at your house or build your own data center to do that. Blockware has data centers located in very remote locations across the United States with access to competitive, low-cost power rates and world-class operation teams on site 24-7, 365 to make sure all of the miners are online and all things are running smoothly. You can see here on our marketplace, we've got Hundreds of miners available right now. They're online right now at one of our data centers. You can find a miner you're interested in purchasing. You can see its historical hash rate. So you know this miner is online right now. It's incredibly transparent. The serial numbers are all public and available before making a purchase. You can check with the manufacturer to see if this machine is still under warranty. You can see when this miner was plugged in. You can even calculate its profits using the profitability calculator based on what you think the Bitcoin price and mining difficulty will do in the future. And it's super easy. You can pay using Bitcoin or you can pay using dirty fiat. It makes mining super accessible to everyone. And plus, one thing people don't talk about enough with mining is all of the tax benefits. With Bitcoin, we're going to end up with a lot of capital gains. And mining is an interesting way to offset some of those capital gains through accelerated depreciation. When you look at some of these miners here, you can see how much revenue they're gonna bring in over the next 30 days. And this bundle of five miners is gonna mine 0 0.02 Bitcoin over the next five days. So if you're trying to get to that 0 0.1 Bitcoin and beyond, mining is a great way to do that. It's allowing you to accumulate Bitcoin every single day in an entirely hands-off manner. And now is the best time to get started because Blockware is running a promotion in celebration of Bitcoin 2025 in Las Vegas coming up at the end of this month. For every miner you purchase, you'll be entered in to win a free Antminer S21 Plus, which on our marketplace right now, these miners are selling for about $6,000. So that's $6,000 worth of value, a competitive next generation miner. And every single miner you purchase gives you a chance to win that, whether you purchase the latest and greatest miner or you purchase an old gen miner, every miner will give you a chance to win. And if you use the code Vegas25, you'll get $50 off your first hosting bill for each miner. So that's $50 off your electricity rate for the first month of mining. Go to marketplace.blockwaresolutions.com to get started. And if you wanna to talk to someone, you can schedule a free 30 minute consultation with one of Blockware's mining experts by going to mining.blockwaresolutions.com slash consult.